walk with me through the halls of the Comic Kingdom. Heroinberg number four is out. A while back, I did a video on the Heroinberg comic book series. It is actually something that started out as a series of live action videos, then split off into a comic book series. It's quite an exciting franchise, and if you don't know anything about it, go see my first Heroinberg video. If you've seen that video, or you already know something about Heroinberg, you're in the right place. The long-awaited number four issue is available, and is it ever a blast? You can tell right away, from the beautiful cover done by artist Jason Wright, that you're going to have a good time. Basically, if you liked issues one through three, this is more of the same. It comes with a Heroinberg sticker because, hey, stickers are fun. You have to be made of stone to not like comic book freebies. It's 16 full color pages on glossy stock, no ads. This is a well made comic book by any standard, and especially for an independent publisher. Don't they look good all together? Another cool thing to expect is multiple comic adventures. There are three in this issue. I'm glad for that, because issue number three left off with a cliffhanger for the heroine Ex Machina, and I was waiting to see how that got resolved. I really liked all the stories. The first story features the heroines Hellfira and Aragoya against villainesses Kaliuga and, briefly, Scintilla. Hellfira, obviously, is a fire chick, and fire chicks are always hot stuff, in my opinion. But I thought Aragaya was particularly interesting. She has the power to drain negative energy from her enemies, then release it. It's an interesting concept, and although there is no shortage of mystical superheroes, I've never seen a character done quite like Aragaya. The second story features plant chick Gardenia and her sidekick Zinnia against the villainesses Serpenta and Mesmera. I can't say much more than that for fear of giving away a spoiler, but it's worth reading. The final story is a follow-up to what happened in issue number three. The heroine Ex Machina, a rather cool character, was transformed into the villainous Ultra Machina. She has now turned against the other heroines of Heroinberg, including Poderosa, Lunessa, Jenea, Cybrina, and Arctica. How will it turn out? Does she beat the heroines, or do they defeat her? Will Ex Machina's humanity be restored? This issue was worth the wait. The comics have all been good, but like the videos, they seem to get better all the time. You can really tell the comfort level has risen in the writing and the formula has become very established. The interior art, done by Benjamin Zeus Barnett and Wayne Brown, really fits the tone of the comics. These are real superhero comic stories, not spoofs, but they're more lighthearted and positive than what you usually see in superhero comics. These are all good things. And even though this video is about the Heroinberg comic book, I would be remiss if I didn't mention the videos. You can't completely separate the two. Things that happen in the videos are sometimes referenced in the comics. You don't have to watch the videos to get the point of reference, but it's neat to have something to go back to. In my mind, Things like that are like Easter eggs, and I love Easter eggs. Right now, Heroinberg is up to 24 videos in their regular series. They also make custom, standalone videos. The custom video concept is cool. If you have the money, you can produce a custom video featuring your favorite characters and whatever kind of story you like. These custom videos are also available for customers to purchase. Once again, Heroinberg proves that it belongs in the Comic Kingdom.